Hey everybody, I'm Recycle, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim VR Diabolus! So we're in this dungeon looking for a black book and this stupid door that I couldn't open before because the game was crashing and I gave up. Uh, it actually works now, and I went to the trouble, I actually created a second character and tried to get back here to try the door again with Nephalim 2. But, um, apparently I was here trying to just get the location, and, uh, the door worked. So, we'll go from here, but in my other playthrough, I did find some new things. There's a spell that can increase your speed. It's called Long Stride. It's from the Apocalypse Spell Pack, and uh, it scales with your alteration. So, if you get really good at alteration, you'll be, like, super fast. And so, that's awesome. Uh, there's a thing you can get for horseback riding called Spurs, uh, enchanted onto your armor, like your uh, boots or your gauntlets. And uh, it makes your horse go faster, and that's really cool. Also, the Steed Stone is really cool. If you use that, it makes you run faster. Um, and what else? Uh, there's a set of boots you can get called the uh, Volkahar Enforcer Boots, and they turn you completely invisible when you're sneaking. And there's a perk in the Sneak Tree that makes you completely invisible as soon as you sneak, which obviates the other perk that makes people have to go search for you, because they just can't find you, but they may stack together. I don't really know. But anyway, we're here, we're in the dungeon, and let's... Go! Another one of these. What are they keeping out? There's a keyhole, but it's not locked. More splody spiders. Yep. A bandit. They're like super bandits. They were just... They were just here? What are you doing? Why did my... Ah! They're getting me. They're getting me good. Oh, oh shit! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Stop it! Ah! Run away! Regroup! That is a bad room. Alright. Hey! They're really good. Ah! What the? Dang it! Yeah, they always explode when they uh, jump on you. But if you just shoot them, there's like a 50-50 chance, I guess. Uh, wow, that was crazy. Really? Really? There we go. There's a big crack in the uh, earth here. But I jump confidently. That's not a chest. There's all these extra rooms, but I don't really care. Oh, and you know what? When I, uh, I started the other character and I was using it, the auto loot worked perfectly, even with the old settings that I have set here. So I don't know if um, this character just bugged or something, but uh, I guess that means there's hope. Except that the game just crashed. What? No, this is the wrong character. Okay, door works fine. Let's save the game. All right, and this is the bad door. Yeah, we had to go that way. Uh, can we just go through this room and don't go the other way? Because the game crashed when I did that. Oh my god, I think we made it. It's a word wall. That's not what I- Oh, there's a black- Black book! Hello, dragon priest! No, don't hurt me. Okay. And this was... Dukon. And he has a mask, and we'll take that. And what's the word? Well, everyone knows bird is the word, but this one is wind. Some loot. And there's a book. That we definitely want to read it. The Sallow Regent. Uh, we're reading. <laughs> As it says, we can go back to Neeloth now. 
And let's just get through here. Sallow Regent. What is that? Oh, nothing. <laughs> All right. There's these little things floating around. I don't know if they do anything. There's like these huge pillars. Speech. Ah, but we barely got anything. Sneaky. I see you. I hear stuff moving around. Uh, why is it fading to black? It keeps doing that. All right, I need to be able to see. <laughs> what? It's like there's something there. Oh, when I'm sneaking, uh, if I have an arrow knocked, then uh, I move faster. That's weird. Wonder if it's like that in vanilla. Maybe so. Okay, I guess I'll be doing that from now on. Oh, and we already made it. Okay. Don't gotta kill anything else. Don't gotta get killed by anything else. Dream loot. Extreme restoration. I think we already know that. All right, well, here's the book. Let's see what it does. Three choices. Seeker of Might. Combat skills are more effective. Uh, Seeker of Sorcery. Magic is cheaper. Stealth uh, skills are all 10% more effective. Huh. Well, I guess that includes sneaking and stuff. And uh, stealth is never really good enough, so this is probably the best. I'll take it. And get out of here. Alright, I guess there's a quick way out of here, uh, right? I mean, it'd be more realistic if we did have to backtrack through an entire dungeon, but there's always a quick way back. Well, I see a staircase that sticks out further than it needs to, but that's not it. Uh, no, I guess there's really not. Um, we can fast travel from indoors, so that's fine. Yeah, let's go back to Neeloth and see if he knows about any more black books. Too bad about his, uh, assistant there. Oh, and, uh, we're supposed to turn in the quest, uh... Well, we found him an assistant, so maybe they made their way back here. I don't know. Hey, dude. Back so soon? Yeah, I got this book. That bread looks good. Excellent. I'll just make a copy for myself. It's far too dangerous to carry the real book around. Of course you can handle yourself. Of course you can. Of course. Now, take this for your efforts, and we'll call the matter closed. I found you a new steward. That Drovus man? I suppose he'll do. He makes dreadful Canis root tea, though. But I should be grateful. Here, take this for your efforts. Oh, and you may use my staff enchanter if you want. Okay, I think I have one of those at home. Um, can we... Curse these heart stones. Uh, is there another black book? Hermaeus Mora has always tried to seduce yeah, I know. where the black books actually came from. Who knows? Apparently, time is more malleable if you're the Daedric Prince of Fate and Destiny. He didn't give me one. Is there a problem? I've been having difficulties with my Hearthstone experiments. Have you heard of the Briar Hearts? Yeah, from uh, those Forsworn guys. They are fierce warriors of the Forsworn tribes. They actually remove their own hearts and replace them with large briar seeds. It puts their life sparks in direct connection to the natural forces. I need you to examine one of them. Just investigate as much as you can. I'm going to put this memory trace spell on you so you won't have to worry about taking notes. <laughs> I doubt you could know what was important anyway. Right. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, how is your guy? The man makes a dreadful cup of Canis root tea. However, he seems to run the place well enough. Oh, were you fishing for a compliment or sign of gratitude? No. Don't waste your time. Those things are for the weak and foolish. Where could I find a Briarheart? Do I already have a, uh, no I don't. The Forsworn live in the hills on the western edge of Skyrim. From there you're on your own. 
I'm given to understand that they are not difficult to find, if yeah. you gather my inference. They're in the reach. Okay. Are we done? Yep. I thought so. Don't cast that on me. What? what? Oh, that was the spell you're supposed to cast. Okay. All right, so uh, I guess we should go back to wherever it's called. And we should go, well, most of the uh, Forsworn, the most Forsworn I've ever seen, somewhere around here. But you know what? I haven't completed the main storyline, and so I don't know. I guess we'll just go here and wander around. Maybe this place? Whoa. Oh, there's one. Hey. Oh. No, but they're dressed like them. A wild Durzog. It's, uh, hurt. <laughs> now it's dead. Yeah, Briarhearts wear all those feathers. Whoa. Just like that. They'd maybe be in a fortress structure like this. Are you a Briarheart? You are a forager. Of course you're going to attack. <laughs> Pillager. What was that? How do you get out of this place? A ravager. <coughs> yeah, they're all over this place. You don't have to look very hard. Hello. Never shoot a, a looter. <laughs> Forager. <laughs> Ow. Card spire camp. Hmm. Yeah, if there's any place I'd expect to find one, it's right here. Oh, you're just a kid. Get away. I am. There's more of them up there. Uh. Ah! <coughs> heavy armor. Yeah, if you want to practice heavy armor, you can just get your butt kicked by mud crabs or something. Ah! I'm coming. Ah! Looter. Where's all the fancy ones? If you think of a high enough level that they would spawn or something, that was weird lightning. Uh, so you can't just go into the car spire before you're told to, right? I can't even find the door. <laughs> There's a... Oh, the car spire. Here it is. There's another camp over that way. I mean, I assume that's the kind of place these people would be. Because they don't live in cities. Oh no, it's Umbra! Kill it. <laughs> and take its weapon. <laughs> ebony armor and a plain old ebony greatsword. Uh, I guess I'll take it. I thought the whole deal with Umbra is you kill them and take their weapon and it's awesome. Like, um, you know, a blade that uh, drinks the souls of people. I don't want the freaking fork. I don't want any of this. Oh, it's Karen's journal. Whatever. There's no quest involved with it. Tolver. Uh, Forgotten Station. I think they're supposed to explode or something, but none of those effects work. And so he just T-poses. Gotta be a Briarheart around here somewhere. Can't 
can't aim. <laughs> Trying to Bella. Ow! You <laughs> got me in the face. <laughs> You're not Briar Hearts. Yeah, so classically, I guess if you go to these camp places, there can be uh, Forsworn. If you go to uh, these things, there's Dwayne or Robots. Uh, if you go to caves, there's like bears and spiders. Uh, and if you go to fortress things, there's bandits and sorcerers and stuff. So I guess I'm basically looking for uh, camps or castles. Oh, you know what? I've always seen Briar Hearts inside the card spire. Yeah, so go inside. Because I always have to mow those guys down during the main quest. Let's just go in. No, it's just a forager. Oh. <laughs> or sworn. Huh. I guess it's just a level thing. But usually when I came in here, they were here. I guess I could go up all the way to the uh, blood seal, but unless Esbern was there to tell me to drip my blood onto it, then I can't do it. Can you solve this before you're supposed to? Yeah, you can. I wonder what happens if you get here in the main quest and it's already completely open. Yeah, there's this seal here, but we can't use it. Although, since we could cheat, we could just go through anyway, but that wouldn't solve anything unless we really wanted some blades armor before we we're supposed to have it. I guess I'll have to look it up. Yeah, it is just randomized. So, since I'm on PC, instead of grinding it out and finding it, I'm just going to use the console to spawn one. Yeah, place one at me. Thank you. <laughs> Interface dismiss. Huh? Hello. Ah! <gasps> I got you in the end. Uh, search. We'll get all their stuff. And, uh... Oh, really? I couldn't... Because I searched it? That's so stupid. Alright, I guess I need another one. Try it again. I'm going to find it. Never... Ah! <sighs> Harvest. Okay, and talk to Neeloth. We'll do it. What? Leave him alone. Alright. I've pried open another of Hermaeus Mora's secrets. Nice! I guess it just takes time. Uh, tell me about that. Yes, Hermaeus Mora is devious, but then so am I. <laughs> now, it's only a rumor of a whisper of a conjecture, but I think this is the place. This is totally the now, way you hurry. do it. That book might contain the final secrets of Xarxes, for all we know. Yeah, there's only a few of these black books, but I guess you just talk to this guy and he tells you where to go. I examined the Briarheart Warrior. Oh, have you? Well, let me just extract those memories and I'll see if you found anything useful. I promise that any unrelated memories I run across will be kept in the strictest of confidence. <laughs> Here, you deserve a bit of a reward for your efforts. That was a lengthy trip for you, I'm sure. There are too many coincidences. There must be someone behind all of my recent troubles. Someone's attacking you? Yes, I have enemies. Legions of them back in Morrowind. However, in this case, candlelights. I have reason to believe <laughs> it is someone in Solstheim. How about a bounty? Don't get ahead of yourself. All you are going to do is wear this ring and walk around Tel Mithrim. If you find something, then we can talk about bounties and rewards. How does it work? Just wear it. It will light up the source when you get close to it. Okay. I enchanted the ring with a bit of 
ash from the last ash spawn attack. It can follow the magical link back to its summoner. How close do I have to get? The link is weak, so you'll have to be within about a hundred feet of the source. Oh, that's super far. <laughs> All right. Try walking around the grounds with the ring on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got so many things. Oh, and I added a mod that I think fixed this. Just because there's sometimes bugs with it. And hopefully that'll fix the problem I'm having where, like, uh, it stopped working because I accidentally destroyed it. Neloth's ring of tracking. That's what I need. Ah, but I'm carrying too much. I have to go home and drop a bunch of stuff. Okay, well, I guess that's going to take some time to sort out. So, um... Uh, not sure exactly how long this video has been because I started it after believing the game was broken and uh, just started shooting in the middle of it. But um, yeah, so cutting this one here. If you've been watching, thanks. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.